Today on the Mike O'Mara Show. And if Shannon's looking homely. Is that the is that the word? Is homely that... is ugly. Okay, homely yeah. would be ugly. Yeah. Comely would yeah. be very it, it, attractive. She's, oh, gross. Comely would, it, it, and it's comely. Oh, forgive me though. What's wrong with you? I mostly Jesus read it. Christ. Gross. Jesus. Yeah. Shut Dude. up, pony. So <laughs> don't pile on. You're a jerk. So. <laughs> oh, the neighbor didn't like the fact that this little cover was sitting in the middle of his driveway, picked it up and threw it into the street, and then said, when they do that, it scratches his driveway. He walked over to the guy's truck and took a picture of the wow. uh, the ID on the truck. You've got a Kevin living next door. Yeah. I, you have to be careful. What I have is a situation. <laughs> Let me just say that. There are individuals. I have to be careful. <laughs> so it's a lot of moving We get parts it. It's better. Going yeah. We get it. We get still, it. Let's we get look it. at the list. Down four yes. notches to number eight. Yes. It's Mark Miller. You oh, keep shit. saying how great it is. <laughs> It's not helping the cost. Who did I say how great you it is? You said it's a I big said. operation. It's, it's bigger. It's faster. It's nicer. It's, it's in the perfumed air. <laughs> <laughs> All that and more. The Mike O'Mara Show starts now. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Greetings and uh, happy Monday, everybody. This is The Mike O'Mara Show. Glad to have you along on a a gloomy Monday down here in southwest Florida. Foggy London town. Uh. Let me tell you. (laughs) What a low ceiling we've got. It's going to be a weird show today. I promise you that. Uh, Hello to Tucson, Arizona, Sanibel Island, Florida. Hey, just down the road, a piece. (laughs) Santa Monica, California, Nelson, New Zealand, uh, Janesville, Wisconsin, and Beijing, China. Yes, Hmm. that's where they're having those Olympics. He is right. We do we do have listeners in Beijing. Yeah, Uh that's exciting. We broach Uh, uh, we breach the firewall on a regular basis. Hopefully, we will be getting to the uh, Olympics uh, later on on uh, today's show. So uh, I write, I won't mention the guy's name, but the guy that installed my uh, my television, yeah. mounted it on the wall and put a sound system in close to three years ago. Okay. And when he left, it was the beginning of COVID. And he had one more thing to do, which was he had not run a, the cable is for, is it infrared? Is it infrared? Yeah, yeah. Is so it you an can infrared? Use remote. Use remote. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. hadn't run that, and, and he's very neat. You know, they go through the mm-hmm. walls and all that. Yeah. First time I, I've ever really done a real installation, and that was almost three years ago. For many and years when I was a little kid, I thought the word was infrared when I saw it spelled no. out. But it's not. You know what's infrared. great about texting? What's great about texting is I can go back to uh, when this all went down. Uh, I would say two years. So April. So less than less than two years ago. Yes. Okay. April fifth, twenty twenty. Oh, is so that's when right when COVID. We was were really we were communicating yeah. about the job. Okay. Right. I can't believe you so, even showed up. St. Patrick's so then, Day was the turn. Uh, that's right uh, so right around that time. So you to uh, like, like, you know, there's no no there's no uh bo- so oh, here's your COVID booster. No, I know, but the the guy needed the cash. He needed the long green. The long green. Yeah, he always he said, you know what? Who calls it the long green? I'll put a kerchief all around my nose. I'm just giving you the timeline here because I got the response. Okay. And it was his name's, uh, I knew the company he worked for, but it was his name. uh, The big screen store? Uh, No, no. It was was, Myrenko. People, it was people, no, it wasn't. Joe Zenith? Mm. So the last, uh, let me see. Bob's Furniture Store? April 28th. Mark, oops, sorry, that's not the guy, though. A guy is out sick today. Would uh, like to get you squared away tomorrow morning. Uh, let me know if that oh, works. Just sick alone. I write, if you or your guys are sick, yeah. I'm hesitant to have work done without protocols for COVID. Why don't we hold off until a couple of weeks? That was April 28th, 2020. Maybe, that is, may, and that was the attitude. Yeah, also, maybe he, he misread and said, and said a couple of years to him. That's right. Then he said, sounds good. Let's touch base. In two weeks. Two years. Uh, flash forward, uh, November 7th, 2021. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Mike O'Mary here. It's been a while. <laughs> I said, before COVID, we were going to get you out here to do a little tweaking. Please let me know if we can get that done. 
Uh, and then I get to, if you give me a little more information, yeah. obviously we had a long time. Yeah, I got no sure. problem with that. New number. Who this? Um, <laughs> you know, and I write the job was actually never finished. Blah, 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 blah. That's November 11th. Okay. And, uh, let's see. I give an address here. Great. That's December 10th. So it's, uh, not exactly a month, but maybe three weeks yeah. mm -hmm. later. Uh, and I write on December 10th. Any update? Um, and then another one. Is there any update? And then uh, that was passive aggressive. yesterday at, uh, oh, by the way, December 10th was, hey, any update? Yeah, that's not good. And then yesterday I write, it's is there any truly. update on when you will be able to get out here to finish the work? My, uh, and I just, 9.05 a.m. this morning. This is no longer blank to the blank's personal phone. It oh. is the property of company. Uh, if there is work that needs to be done, please forward all of your information. Thank you. I think something's gone on. Yeah, well, he's obviously left the company, or he's... Yeah, it's a great resignation. Yeah. Well, maybe, that's what happens. So. Maybe yeah, he yeah, should have yeah, yeah. been paying a little more attention to protocols. I would actually... You know, the NFL is like, what, three and a half years with your average career in the NFL at the moment? What yeah. do you think the average career in a... Um, TV repair slash insulation gig. I don't know. He was a he was a longer in the tooth guy. Listen, so if you know wall anchors, for a while. if you know wall anchors, they're going to keep you around. Really? Sure. Why not? How hard are wall anchors? Well, I mean, they're so easy. I know, but I bet there's people out there that blow it and then they show them well, the door. You know, you keep Oscar the good had ones mentioned 4K Olympics right before yes. the show. Yeah. And I thought it would be interesting to talk about the idea of 4K, which I've been doing some experimenting with so far as that I went and looked at my receiver yes, I love and I this. see that it is compatible, but at the same time, I can't just like press a button. My pants and around my ankles right now. Keep and, talking. And here's the, here's the <laughs> thing. Okay. 4K. Yes. Yes. Doable, not doable with DVR capability. Fair. That's would true. Would I be right oh, so about that? So the DVR can't capture the DVR, it. Be, the file size would be too big. But it can stream it. Y you can... Well, watch it live. You can watch it live. That's what I mean. I'm watch sorry. it live. Mm -hmm. You can but get a 4K. Can you stream it? You can watch it live. Streaming, you can't. You can stream the signal as well. You, you, you. Your preference would be for a hardwired network cable, not Wi-Fi. Mm. Okay. Um, all right. So, and, and I have that with yes. uh, with my direct uh, direct TV. Yes. Yeah. The uh, way they spell it, here. you don't care for that. Well, yesterday, yes. watching the Olympic Games. And, that are available on 4K on NBC. And this, the worst. My parents are the cheapest when it comes to cable. They have Verizon Fios. And ding, comes up. This program is available in 4K. Top right-hand corner. Right. Press OK. And when you hit this, the promise of 4K is like, Whoa! like it exciting. shoots up. And my dad's like, what'd you just do to the settings of the TV? I'm like, nothing. This is what I've been telling you about this whole time, 4K. And he's like, you can see the mountains so crisp. And so, this man's let me 80. See if I got he you right. See oh, I thought something bad was going to happen. No, I didn't this think is it was great. Be good. So you can click on uh, 4K, Oscar, and then it explodes into uh, just the you clarity. Get it right away. The clarity. I can imagine what it must be like. I remember, the, I remember the first high def television broadcast I watched. Yeah. It was tennis. I hate I tennis. I thought it was porn. It was. No, that was. I thought HD did, did adult movies came in HD first. No, but the right. first thing I saw in high def on television, like through an antenna, was a tennis match. And it mm -hmm. was fascinating. It was like really next level stuff. So I can only imagine 4K and the is 4K the same 4K is thing. next level from HD. It's, I, I don't like, I hate touting stuff like this. I feel like people feel like. Yeah, because like, you're kind of playing into the. Well, uh, I also feel yeah. like we've been, we've, we have felt for years that we have been taken advantage of because they're like. Here's 4K. Here's 8K. And, and there's no programming for it. Mike, what was it like when you first saw my, color television? My work with ESPN opened up my eyes when I was talking to one of the engineers three years ago. And he said, you know you're only getting 720. Oh, yeah. They cheat you. Because the 720 signal, most of these broadcast companies are shooting you 720. Even though you have an HGTV, you're probably just getting 720. This is three years ago. Some networks are already shooting you uh, 1080, like the Fox 5 DC. You can get that over the air 1080, mm -hmm. right? Right. But f when they do, when they go out of the way to tell you they have 4K, and you click through and you see it, it is the truth. All right. Well, then I'm now I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue yes. it. I'm yeah. gonna pursue and it look, today. I'm not a big figure skating guy, but I'll tell well, you. Not since you broke your ankle. Like those cheeks.
on 4K. <laughs> God, he's a pervert. He's a pervert. It's a remarkable Rob, in sport. Answer to your little remark, no, I, did, I was ago, no, but I do. I remember f- f- color television. I remember going over and watching a Super Bowl at the McCabe's house because they had a they had yeah, a color, color television. Yeah. Th- this... And then when we got our first one, which by the way was about the size a little smaller than the monitor that I look at you guys. Yes. On yeah, right now. probably a and nineteen. It was a Toshiba. My yep. dad was uh, my my dad was a bit of a audiophile. He right. liked to tweak and stuff, and it was it was spectacular. It was absolutely spectacular. I was very very excited, and I remember the first thing I saw: Mike Douglas. That's how old yeah. I am. The Mike Douglas show was on, and they had a shot of the band, and he had a red sparkle drum set. And I remember seeing that and just being that's wow, gotcha. wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that cool. is literally. Yeah. I don't remember guys I roomed with. Imagine in college. your son having that wonderful experience in your own living room. It won't be the same though. Color and 4K won't be the same. Oh, Are you you my, think it will? I, You're that excited I, about it? I can when I tell you, I thought my parents' TV was. Cr- I thought I was cheap with my brother and sister that we bought a cheap TV. Your TV right? is crap. <laughs> I said, "Why does this?" But look you, so you're good doing garbage. it with cable at your parents' house, and I've got Direct TV, and I still don't know how to get it. Okay, well, and I'm of the opinion if your box is a 4K has 4K capabilities, they I read the number. And they said this number and above. Yes, has 4K and capabilities, later yes. has 4K capability. So if you can, um, if you have been, done that research, that's why I'm so excited. If you do, if you've done that research. Then there is a way for you to transmit the Super Bowl in 4K on your current setup. Well, that's good because as of yesterday, when my buddy Oli came over to cook steaks for us, yes. I bought them, he cooked yes. them, mm. and uh, I added it up last night between uh, three adults, we enjoyed 140 bottles of wine last night. <laughs> Well, that's always fun. Well, you're, at, you're at home base. Drinking at home I think is I, the best. I tweaked my picture before I came in here, and it's a little, to me, it's a little olive drab, but that might be the color of my skin. Just no, might be the, I don't have, might be the I, wine. <laughs> no, we wrapped it up early. I don't have a hangover. Uh, what I have is a fatigue over. Yeah. Because when I enjoy that kind of a Sunday that breaks up at about, eh, I want to say, 9 o'clock-ish, sure. uh, I, I don't sleep well, and so I'm wiped out. And my son, because we were all up... He was staying up, and so we were <laughs> we were the Logie people. The whole family is Logie today. Everybody the Logie. is the out of it. But what also happens, and this is a big tell, both of you know this yes. for me, is that towards the end of the evening, major plans were made for a Super Bowl party oh, at the O'Mara's no. house. <laughs> Which, by the way, when Second I woke up location. today, yeah. and, and Carla comes into the kitchen and says, Mike. Super Bowl party with that with that pleading look. I said yes. This time we're going for it. This time we're going to do it. We don't have to leave the house. Call the people down the street. Call the people down the street here, and we will uh, we will have a little uh, get together uh, for the uh, Super Bowl. So that's going to be I'm, two consecutive I'm, Logie Mondays. Though. I'm yeah. previewing next week. Will you be might another just take Logie, off now. Yeah, lo- Logie Monday. No, I don't blow off. Uh, no, you I, wouldn't. It's the quality I, of the show. Is what we're talking. Uh, about. Well, the quality of the show can be. You know, Good today's going to be goofy fun. You know uh, what I said. To- Mike, you, you'll enjoy this. Uh, we have what's equivalent, probably it's a 150-inch television in one of the studios. Yeah. It's just it's massive for one of the television shows that shoots here. Mm-hmm. And I said, to, for years now, I said, Charlie, one day when COVID is over, we should have all the employees over with their families if they want to come and watch it here in the big studio because it's just huge. It's massive. Right? Come in for like a big TV event. Yes, it's like yeah. a, right. it is like yeah. a movie theater screen. Yes, okay. Um, that's crisp, like they're real panels, Gorgeous. not like yeah. projection. It's just that's beautiful. cool. Yeah, and and I and I well, it, we, this is three weeks ago. We look at each other and we're like, "Is this the year that we're going to invite everybody to come over?" And I said. No, we still have to hand out tests when people come in every yeah. Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we're not there. We're yeah. not quite there. But in Florida, yeah. you live in a different dimension, and it's surreal, and I'm somewhat jealous. Yeah. Mm. I do, but uh, I will give you the very latest down here. Uh, we have, as far as hospitals are concerned down in Florida, right about now, right at the beginning of February. You guys remember when we uh, used to have connectivity issues. Right. Uh, and, oh, by the way. Uh, I had the uh, the guy from the cable company out, 
yesterday morning. Cool. Wonderful guy, nice guy, worker bee, Cable guy. did stuff. You know, we'd already resolved our issues on yeah. Friday, yeah. Thursday or Friday, but he came he out. He apologized. Anyway. You apologize. And, uh, I apologize. Everybody apologized. Yeah, he invited him to his Super Bowl party. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he comes out. He tweaks. He checks connections. Yeah. He makes sure everything. He informs me that we are not fiber optic in here. Oh no! Really? We're analog. I thought we were fiber in here. We're not. It's just better. It's newer analog. It's so newer it coax. Was, yeah. It's newer coax. Yeah. New copper. But, uh, but it's not. I was surprised. You have, I don't you know have when a, it'll you be. You have fun. a steady eddy, though, these days compared to the old eddy. neighborhood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Connection. So at the end of the day, he comes in and he's looking at my equipment and he was doing like a lot more than he needed to do. Uh, and I was real happy yeah. with the guy. And I go out yeah. afterwards and he says, uh, listen, my boss might come by uh, just because there was yeah. a little thing. The cable box, the junction box for my home, uh-huh. is located one door down. Yeah. It's not directly in front of my house. He takes that little, you've seen these before, they're little green yeah. boxes that sit on top of the mechanics. Yeah. Well, apparently, the neighbor came out, didn't like the fact that this little cover was sitting in the middle of his driveway, picked it up and threw it into the street, and started getting into the guy's kitchen, and then said, when they do that, it scratches his driveway. I mean, I'm sitting, what? and, and yeah. we're talking about pavers, okay? Yeah. yeah. And then he walked over to the guy's truck and took a picture of the oh. uh, the ID on the truck. You've got a Kevin living next door. Yeah. I've got, I, you have to be careful. What I have is a situation. <laughs> Let me just say that. There are individuals. I have to be careful. <laughs> There are individuals that, let me put it to you this way, yeah. <laughs> that if something horrible was discovered, yeah. yes, I would be the guy on TV going, kind of kept to himself. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all yeah, I have yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But this guy was, uh, you know, just so chill and yeah. so, you know, so nice. Thoughtful. And was he Carla was just home? A, a good guy. Everybody was home on oh. Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Everybody was home. And I mm. just felt horrible because I pounding. didn't see it. I didn't see mm. what happened. Right. And then uh, and then he was on his way. But, I, I mean, you know, don't, don't hassle people that are working on a Sunday morning. Because I wonder you're if he dick. hangs out when uh, there isn't a uh, attractive uh, younger daughter around in the house. Oh, you think he was getting special me? service? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you talking about yesterday? The cable guy. Yeah. No, he might not have even. Well, yeah, maybe he saw her mm. in the window. Was she in ath- ath- what is it? Athleisure? No, no, <laughs> athletic wear. Athletic wear. Not sure, but uh, what were you wearing? Um, I was fully dressed. I was fully dressed. Right? I was dressed. <laughs> I was dressed in my. I was not dressed in my show or golf wear. I was dressed in my. I have to uh, do household chores. Oh, okay, right. My, Mike, including a deep grunge on my uh, grill outside. I, that was about as nasty I, as it gets. I am well aware of this, and I'll tell you why. Because when we have people come to the house now that mm-hmm. you know it, with masks on, etc. Right. I and, and if Shannon's looking homely, is that the is that the word? Is homely that, is ugly. Okay, homely yes. would be ugly. Yeah. Comely would yeah. be very if, attractive. If she's, oh, gross. Comely would, it, 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 and it's comely. Oh, forgive me. What though. was wrong with you? I Jesus mostly read it. Christ. Gross. Jesus. Yeah. Shut Dude. up, Pony. So <laughs> don't pile on. You're a jerk. Stop. So. <laughs> Maybe it is pronounced that way. I don't know. I, don't know. Don't, I know it's spelled with an I've O. Never Fet- heard. How about we say fetching? Okay, fetching is good. I just yeah. she's I was looking tra- fetching. I say, can, can, get can, back to your I point. I was like, can we take it from a five to at least a seven and a half out of ten, like pre- presenting yourself scale? She goes, so you want her to look better? We get better service. Okay, I get, I get that. I understand. Do. No, I, I understand that. Okay, now, that you makes know? sense to me. Yeah, I get it. I yeah. totally get it. I get it's like, uh, you know, it's the same day that show a few weeks ago where you pointed out that they were consoling my kid who was crying. It was because mom was standing next to him. It's like a bolt of lightning hit me in the forehead where I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Still, as I continue to age uh, down here. But the bottom line is that, uh, you know, connectivity and everything, we don't tweak very often. No. Because I've been very satisfied. Look, we bitch about big corporations all the time. But the Xfinity company, I will tell you, I have been very satisfied with the work they do, uh, allowing me to have speeds in my home that uh, back in the day were only reserved for the largest corporations. Correct. And sometimes not even that. Sometimes not even that. It it is, though. Hinky, that for a while now you've been told you had 
somewhat fiber. I don't know where I got that from. Maybe I got it when from another guy. When you moved to the neighborhood, you were like, we have fiber. It was so like, All right, Let me ask you this, because you're the tech guy. Yes. Fiber around the community, like outside of the specific uh, neighborhood I live in, yes. is, can that be achieved? Like to like they're it, laying fiber lines to yeah, like so the it, big, you the, know what it, I mean? The, the, coaxial can go to fiber, correct? Yes, though fiber to the house, like true fiber. Is the best, best, best. Or to your office building is the best, best. Now, you will pay a premium, and I'll yeah, give you an well, example. We were offered fiber to the building as mm-hmm. the, as just like your uh, what residential, not res, your, your commercial, run of the mill. Fiber optic cable. Run of the mill. We had to have fiber pulled specifically to the building from the switch, a special fiber line to this building. I'm not to, doing that. No, you don't have to, but I'm saying that type of fiber, that is the, you're going to broadcast on television fiber. Okay. Which costs right. thousands of dollars a month. And for not just like a month-to-month contract, a minimum three-year contract. Plus the initial investment of getting it yes. run. So, yeah, nuts. that's a, a crazy. So it's that's nuts. why you guys look so good coming down. You can't. we got a commercial line. Yeah. And I look. Broadcast line. No, you don't look bad. No, no you look great. And that's yeah, the I thing. Know. Most of the hiccups and blips and, 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 and whatever else we get are minimal compared to what we had to deal with. Prior to you, yeah, even and also I will tell very, you just, very let me finish. Let me, I yeah. want to donate because I got a train of thought. The guy said yesterday that we did have an issue with what was coming out of the junction box yeah. here. So he said it was something along the lines of too much signal. Does that make sense to you? Where it was too hot, it was too hot coming in, and he wanted. to Was he talking about the content? Content was too sure. hot. Okay, Shecky. <laughs> Happy Monday! I do to you. broadcast. You sound like you get a five good days a week. week. Now, I, I, um. I do have a question. You talk about this. I love when you talk about this. You talk about you did a deep cleaning on your grill. How did that go? And how were your steaks? Um, what kind of steaks were they? Yeah, uh, they were New York strips mm. that I got from Mario's butcher shop. Ooh, and he said, "Hey, Mr. Romero, <laughs> why you wait so long coming up?" No, no, it's a bit. You know, hey, it is you make it big... too much content. It's too no, hot. No, here. There's no personal nothing at this place. <laughs> It's just, it's just the march of the living fucking dead. Wow, that's what it is. You know, all just like, and and you know, oh god, I know this is everywhere, but old people and red meat, mm-hmm. just you know, I I really want to say, Mister Habisham, you've made your order. Is there a chance that you couldn't rub? You know, do you do you still have to literally be pressing your penis up against the uh, you know, the the glass case while? Others, 20 people in back of you are waiting to pick out what they want to order. That's no, a teach, because hon. you're just going to stand there and be, eh. <laughs> yeah, I hate uh-huh. it. So there was no, and it's like, 42, 41. And, uh, you know, and so uh, that's where I got it. And it's super crowded. It's a super crowded part of town. Right. And, uh, you know, I paid for it, and, and it was delicious. $200 a pound? Did. It was uh, nineteen ninety nine a pound. Oh. That's so much, but they're That's good. That's beef. I know. It's what it is now. It That's is. decent beef. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So when I when I when I finished getting the steaks for the family, it was forty two forty two thousand five hundred and fifty seven dollars. <laughs> and then I brought them in and they were just, and by the way, uh grilled, I'm not a broccoli guy. Grilled broccoli, broccoli on the grill yeah. with a caprese salad, which was just uh just one of the, one of the finest experiences in dining at home. I have had. That's it awesome. was that delish. And then the wine began to flow, and then it's like, I think we should have a Super Bowl party next week. And then Carlo looked at me today, and I said, no, I said it. We're, we're going with it. We're going to do this. Be a small number of people. Why not? Yeah. Why not? And maybe, uh, you know, I'll figure this thing out about the TV uh, with the guy that obviously passed away or something like that, no longer works for the company so uh, we'll see we'll see what happens but so like four couples uh, you and Carla included for the party the I, I'm going to right now and I don't do this at the beginning of the show but I want to go through my fatty food weekend because man oh, I enjoyed I enjoyed food uh so much all right let me start well, we need with to do fries. this then Mike. Yes. <laughs> But I will give you uh, the only one I can't give you a name of the restaurant because it's next to where my wife works. Okay, and I don't remember the name of it. It's just the place that's next to where my wife works. So let me start with Friday night. Friday night, uh, the Buccaneers won their game against the Chiefs. Their playoff game. They are going 
to the championship. Fantastic. On the field across the way, bad coach number one was facing bad coach number two. Mm. Really? Bad coach number two was the Patriots, and that was the coach that I was going that I got in the minor yeah, altercation yeah. with. Scuffle. I did not wish them to get to the championship because I just didn't want to. I want to have a relaxed evening. Yes. Bad mm. coach number one, it wasn't personal with him, so I can handle that. Bad coach number one won. That's so excellent. So we will be playing yes. bad coach number one for the championship, and it should be interesting. So following that. That's this Friday. Coach, uh, that was this past Friday. The, and you can continue to play this music. Oh, I like okay. this. It yeah. feels good. It feels right when I'm talking about fat attack. So uh, after the game, uh, the coach of the team and his two kids and our friends, uh, Michael's buddies, and their, the rest of their kids and mama and dada and everybody, we get a table for 13 at the uh, gourmet restaurant <laughs> down here known as Mr. Tequila. Oh. oh. Oscar, that's what's known in the business as a 13 top. Like fast and loose at uh, they, in Fort Myers. We walk in. We, we, we got there first. We made the arrangements. They were all over it. Because after the football game, the crowds have diminished a little sure. bit. And they were able to take care of us. And it was fantastic. Best carnitas tacos I have ever wrapped my tonsils around. Yes, it's a chain restaurant, but it was fantastic. And, and it's the Mr. Dedication. Tequila's, not Senor Tequila's? There's a Senor Tequila's, too. Oh, okay. But you want to go and to I'm Mr. Sure there are, I'm sure there are Mr. Tequila's and Senor Tequila's everywhere. It's yes. Like, you know, how do we communicate that we are going to pour you tequila drinks in a Mexican restaurant? I'm confused because I went I went to Monsieur Tequila's. Now, do you, so uh, do you with other parents, and, and I'm, I don't mean to cut you, I'm just thinking of social norms. Yeah. Yes. When I go out, and, and just standing rule, if I know somebody doesn't drink first few times, don't drink at all until they know that I have some sort of level of self-control. And so then I'll eventually be like, oh, you can have a drink. I'm like, all right, I'll have a drink. Fine. Right. right. If I'm meeting somebody for the first time, I really have to like watch my P's and Q's because I don't want them to think I'm an irresponsible parent type of situation. How do um, parents interact when you're going to Senor Tequila? Because I think at that point, all bets are off. We're going to do what we want. Mr. Tequila <laughs> is the Was closest. He there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I, I held the mantle for Mr. Tequila. The whole weekend was just bad. No, I had one beer on Saturday night. Yeah. That was it. I will tell you that uh, I had no such burden. Okay. Uh, when these other parents arrived, I'm already uh, in. Oh, gotcha. We gotcha, order, gotcha. My, my wife and I have a pitcher of margaritas. Oh, okay, okay. And sometimes and you have to set the... little cups. Yeah, little yeah, you're, cups. Yeah, you're ready to rock. Those yeah, little yeah, yeah, ready to rock. Then sometimes when, you have uh, to set the table, Mike. Let me just offer this. I remember when we were planning our high school reunion, we had several lunchtime meetings at a place called the Vienna Inn. Yes. And they'd go around, they'd take our orders, and it's like, I'll have a chili dog and iced tea, I'll have the chili yeah, mac yeah. And, and, and a lemonade, and I said... Well, I'll have two chili dogs and a Budweiser. And then everyone said, oh, yeah, I'll have a beer. I'll have a beer. I'll have a beer. Yeah. I'll have a beer. I'm, you yeah, I don't be burden myself with that. I'm fine because this is uh, recreational football. Yeah. And these are friends. Uh, we have not socialized with these people, but we know them. Yeah. yeah. And what that's, was that's what I'm saying. Even because, and I'm only saying this, Mike, because I live this, when I see my family, I don't even bother ordering a drink anymore. You know why? Because no one else is, and it's going to be Judgment City all the it's time. Kinda yeah, sad. It's kind of sad. I'm fine. Uh, that's sad. So, if you know that they're... You know, straight shooters yeah. or somebody's yeah. going to get bothered by that. Yeah. No. And I was validated when uh, one of the other dads at the table got himself the special margarita. Oh, dear. With the, with the double shot of 1800 in it, which I promptly pivoted off of my lemonade stand and yeah. went to that one and may have had two. And that's resulting, what the picture is like, isn't it? Like uh, a picture of lemonade? And, yeah, yeah, two. That was after having a couple of little ones and then uh, two and then waking up on Saturday going... I believe all the moisture is out of my body. Well, Mike, that has know. nothing to do with the alcohol. But, Those were some salty carnitas. Those will do but it. With, with all, no, yeah, it was probably the carnita, but they were so phenomenal. All right. Then it's off to take. My kid is very scheduled. I don't think he's overscheduled, but he's very scheduled. Then my kid, it's off to piano on uh, Saturday morning. Yes. Yeah. And off to piano and following that. Uh, I realized in my state that I had left my wallet at home. My wife was working in the morning. I had to swing by her office, and I said, okay, Michael, we're going to go to breakfast, you and me, after piano, right there next door. And I'm going to tell you something. I will get the name for you, but these are the great – it is the greatest eggs Benedict. And you're saying, yes, Mike, don't you have a weight problem? Yes, F you, I do have a weight problem. But this 
This breakfast was, I have never tasted better. This lady is an artist and she makes these. It's just so delicious. I, I put it, I, the, the, the party in my eggs mouth Benedict. that happens when I, you're, when I you're bite into these. killing me because uh, even bad eggs so, Benedict what are, is good. What, what is that? Yeah, but no, bad eggs Benedict is bad. Buffet eggs Benedict, where they where they poop out all that sauce. Yeah, I on suppose. There. I suppose she but, makes this stuff. I don't know I how like she makes stuff. the sauce, but man, the 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 Hollandaise is uh, fantastic. Oscar, it's it's all an right? English muffin, uh, a poached egg, which is runny, and then a piece of ham, usually or Canadian bacon, and then right. Hollandaise sauce on top. Oh, it sounds nice. And messy. then oh, it's delicious. That, but it was so fantastic. And then uh, you know, I think a week earlier we'd had the. Uh, where we took Jimmy, the place Buffalo Chips that has the wings, more bad food. This is just the best. I've just had a uh, like a two week period of uh, just hitting on all eight and not spending, you know, not not spending insane amounts of money other than the beef prices that I cooked at my house that wrapped up the weekend, and that was an incredible meal. Yeah. So I was just very very happy, and uh, you know, I'm just I'm going to uh, you know go easy this week because. You know, you got to download after that. You got to chill well, we, out a little bit. But what about that. food for the Super Bowl party? Food for the Super Bowl party will be quite simple, like a hot dog hamburger type of thing. I'm no not eggs gonna Benedict. Go crazy. No eggs Benedict. What about wings? No. Uh, maybe, like but, wings. but we're not sure. People do like wings. Yeah. I am not sure. Maybe we could do a carry out thing from our place down the road. Have it's you sent out the bat the signal yet? Because you know people do have and make plans. That's uh, Mrs. O'Mara's uh, yes, job, yes. and if uh, the bat signal is my buddy Oli, and then you're good. Uh, he's yeah, I think he's so. coming, yeah, so yeah, I don't okay. care. That's fine. And he is a uh, guest with the best, where he comes in with the big satchel, like he did yesterday with the great vino, and we Ooh, had a fantastic time. Are, are, so we, done, are just, we done talking food? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, why? I never ever full physically. <laughs> That's the closer. Is that the closer? That's the closer. <laughs> you it should put on the fat closer. Attack closer final. <laughs> you should put on that closer. I'm never ever full. Then another fat attack. You think? That's yeah. that's the proper way to do it. Because okay. you don't hear fat attack. All right. All right. Yeah. yeah Very yeah, good. What's right. the opening of the bit? Uh, the opening right, of the bit goes like this. Fat attack. Fat attack. Fat attack. Fat attack. Fat attack. Fat attack. All right, close. and that, since we're talking, I'm going to take care of some housekeeping. Right? Okay, please, please. your opening stagers are are anal. They're too many. Fa 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 fa. Cut that in half. Okay, okay. Just like with the uh, the other take thing. Take notes, Sound for him, Tony. Town. Cut Sound Town in half. All right, all right. And then and then at the end, I'm never ever full for fa fat attack. Okay, that's all you need. Fat 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 attack. All right, that's all you need. Cut them down. Cut them down. That's Brevity it, right? is key, so, Mike. Brevity. Well, let me just say, this is your opening to Soundtown, okay? Okay. Yeah, and I'll time it right now. Here we go and go. Did you hear that? Listen to the sound. Do you hear? The sound. There's a new sound. The sound. sound town. That's almost 11 seconds. I thought it was That's got to be cut. That, yeah. I thought we'll get it to got, eight. No, it's not Let's eight. go to five. No, no, five. 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 So, so it's like. Did you hear that? Listen about a sound. Do you hear? The There's a new. It's already too long. Yeah, you're right. I just, it's just my. Yeah. You know. Bam, bam, bam. This point, you're just playing with That's yourself. It. That's it. If you do that, I'll send you the eggs Benedict. Right through the mail. You can eat <laughs> I Saturday. Want, Mike, I want it in a lined envelope so it doesn't. No <laughs> secret. I'm. I'm. Yeah. And, and by it'll, the way, the, so with the uh, the way that I have been dining, uh, just be aware. Any time during the week of shows, you might just get me. <laughs> I just, uh, I have my falling down sound that I just killed because I pressed the wrong part of the mouse pad. Mother <laughs> effer. Do you want a uh, regular mouse a instead of a pad? No, I just have, I've okay. learned that when I do that and I'm not looking, yeah. Uh, yeah. because mouse pads are the land of suck mm -hmm. because it's an invisible little pad yes. that has different qualities for yes. different sections of the mouse yeah. pad. You know, if I, uh, if I press it on the bottom, you get the sound effect. <laughs> All right. right. Ah. If I press it on the top, it goes away. Got That's it. what I finally figured out last week, and I still screwed it up. Well, I'll That's send you I the did. fall down again. We'll be good. Very good. Uh, we'll be good. Now we have to take a break yes, because let's it's do time. That. It's time to uh, go to break. When we come back, we have the homepage. Lots of stuff in the news. Lots of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, more on uh, Joe Rogan, who was at it mm. again. We'll be talking about that when we come back. Uh, right here, you are listening to The Mike O'Mara Show. And uh, if you get a chance and you're down in South Florida, just come down to where my wife works and the place next door serves a great eggs. Benedict, we'll be right back. Next door. Guess who? Ha, ha, ha. It's me, Arnold. 
Biggestun si show after school spiel. Of course you are. Uh, oh, I should explain. That means you are excited about the big game. Sure, why not? Legally, I can't name it, but I can give you ein kleiner hint. There have been 55 previous ones, and sometimes it can be likened to a superb owl, <laughs> or as we used to call it in Tal, Austria, where I lived, the Hovenschkleinenblüli. But today, we'll just call it Das Großspiel, okay? Okay, get ready for Das Großspiel. You're going to need things like pennants and stuff, bunting hats, uh, the crazy shirts and stuff, chips, salsa, Wiener schnitzel, rouladen and Schwarzwalder, Kirschküchen. Luckily, you can find it all at the TMO shopping center at mygomerishow.com. Der Target und sie Walmart. Buy it, buy it now. Danke. By the way, we played flag football back in <laughs> Austria. Just don't ask me what kind of flags we used. Ha <laughs> ha! Hurrah for Des Bengelin. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, he's a Bengals fan. He likes the uh, Bengals, Mike. <laughs> There's a reason why Noom works well at the diets fail. Uh, Noom uses psychology to give you the practical knowledge and skills you need to build smarter, long-term habits and behaviors. The approach is based on scientifically proven principles like cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, which helps people better understand why they eat the way they do. Noom doesn't believe in telling you what you can or can't eat. Instead, Noom gives you the knowledge you need to make informed choices that fit your lifestyle and also help you reach your goals. You're the boss. Five, 10, or 15 minutes a day. How much time you want to uh, spend on the app is up to you. Here's a fact. More than 75% of users complete the program. More than 60% of users lose 5% or more of body weight by 16 weeks. And more than 60% of users keep the weight off for a year or more. Oscar loves it, and Carla has never looked better. Sign up for your trial and get psychology-based support and motivation to reach your goals at noom.com slash tmos. That's noom.com slash tmos. Sign up for your trial, and now it's time for Dekinda and uh, the thing and stuff. <laughs> That's bangling. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device. It's what you need to know. This is the home page. Yeah, that's about six seconds right there. See, that's it. That's all it. Right. That's all that is. That's perfect. I like that. Uh, Joe Rogan uh, now apologizing for his latest controversy. Uh, this is on the heels of the whole Spotify deal with Neil Young and yeah. now this. And I look, I watched the video and well, we'll talk about it. Let me give you the facts okay. first. He's now apologizing for his latest controversy, which is a montage of him dropping the N-word in the past. It's been making the rounds over the past week in the wake of his previous controversy over uh, COVID misinformation. Joe apologized in a video on social media where he admits that the N-word montage looks effing horrible. Uh, he says it's uh, most regretful and shameful, and uh, it's the thing he's had to address publicly. It's the most uh, shameful, horrible thing he's right. ever had to address. Uh, he gives a, a few excuses, including that it was taken out of context, which if you see the video, he's right about that. They take, they take you know, every time he said it. Uh, but he also says that now in 2022, he agrees that there's no context uh, where it's cool for a white guy to be dropping the N-word. Uh, he says he's not racist and there's nothing he can do to erase the past. So he wants it to be a teachable moment. Spotify is sticking with Joe and I say good for them. Uh, but they deleted more than 70 old racially insensitive episodes of his podcast, and supposedly uh, Joe agreed with that. According to a research firm, 19% of Spotify subscribers say they've either canceled or will be... Really? Wow. 19% uh, said they will either cancel or will be canceling, but that's not official, so take it with a grain of salt. But if that did happen, Spotify might uh, take a stronger stance. All right, here it is. I don't know the shows. Because the montage that was put up there, um, I would have to see how it was done. What I got, and I'll let you guys comment on it also, I got the impression that he's doing... What Joe Rogan does a lot is Joe likes to generate... He's a contrarian, and he likes to give the other points of view, and he let that's his thing. That's what he does. That's why he has a lot of people on, on his show. I also think that he thought that that word was a word that he could use if it was in the right context. You can't. And uh, that's a big mistake. With the then the last thing I wanted to say, I watched the apology video. Uh, it was sincere. I think he got it. I don't know 
uh, what the overall content of his show was when he was discussing the N-word the way he was discussing it. But on the longer parts of the montage, none of it was used in a way that would be, uh, in my opinion, an automatic fireable offense. You see him do that. This is the second time Rogan has come out, and I don't think he's coming out because he's a weak guy or because he's just uh, caving to pressure. He's coming out because I do believe he sincerely uh, does something that I've done multiple times on this show. If you F up, you own it, and you say you're going to try to do better. And if it's not anything that's egregiously hate-motivated when you're discussing that, mm -hmm. you screwed up, and you own it, and you say that you screwed up, and you say you're not going to do it again. I don't know if I'm going to uh, go for the jugular, if that's the case, but I have to qualify that by saying I don't know the context of the N-word that was used in his shows. I do know he used it a lot. So that's it. That's my two cents. I'm of the it, opinion you know? that there is no context where you can use that word. Bottom line. Full so stop. So you would be, I agree. if you're Spotify, you would say, see you wouldn't want to be you. There, I mean, from a user standpoint, look, this is the, this. if I may be frank, this is. By the way, I've never used it. This and, is and the, that's, that's, this is you know. the bull. That perpetuates this BS. And by that I mean this, I didn't mean to, I'm not racist, I don't use that. I'm not, I'm, I don't believe that Joe Rogan is racist. I, I'm hoping he never was. But for someone with such a large platform and yeah, such nasty. a massive in the podcast world, that he's the yeah, uh, yeah it comes with a responsibility. Even, even before that, yeah. Howard did it. Howard did it on radio. I, 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 I'm saying also. the same thing. It wasn't cool then. wasn't cool then. And it's yeah. not cool now. And even then, it's not. Like, this is what's crazy, guys. When you say in 2022, the N word wasn't cool in the 80s. Yeah. Right. Yeah. True. So come so on. What do you, so the long and short of it, you think they ought to. No, I think boot him? Un, no. Unfortunately, I think a hundred million dollars ties you to a company in a pretty grand way. Yeah, that, that it, at yeah. the end of the world. I'm not asking if it's, it's tied to the company. Would you? Do you think that they ought to go? Uh, well, it's saying 19. percent That's a soft uh, whether, stat. Whether though. Spotify might, uh, you know, might be uh, rethinking the way they that handle statistic, this. statistic, though, you... when they say that they're going to, they have canceled or may cancel or going to cancel, you know that those people aren't going to follow through on that. I well, think you, that's you, an inflated but, stat. But you see, you don't because, so one thing we do here, Mike, with all our interns and our past interns that at least have come, come through Podville, mm -hmm. is I ask all these little effers, God bless you guys, uh, to text me or or send me emails or stuff that's happening on campus about the space. Like, I want to know what other people are doing before right. anyone else knows. Mm -hmm. I got no less than three texts this past week saying, hey, everybody's looking to boycott Spotify. I just thought you should know. Hey, Spotify. Yeah, well, uh, we, it are, was discussed with us because people want to know. Yeah, you know where yeah. are we going to be? And by the way, did we have a problem with Spotify last week or something like no. that with people no. getting the show? No, we're, no, we're, we're still... too small. We need Spotify. We okay. need Spotify. We need okay. it. All right. Let me right. be clear. So, uh, anyway, we'll see what happens with yeah. that. Uh, you I, know, but I, I stand I, by what I said. There is no gray area. You're right. Well, uh, you know, it's funny when I'm trying to be magnanimous when it comes to people that uh, that get it. I here's what I think, Oscar, with that. You're right. There's no context, but there is a massive difference uh, when you use that word a specific way, which I've heard and called people out on. Uh, and like, for example, did you see that blank? Yeah. Then I'm like, excuse me. I remember this back in 2017. And yeah. I said, this is 2017, dude. Mm -hmm. Shut up. And later on, the guy called me an a-hole. And then uh, Carla called him out. And then I called him out again. And then it was just horrible. And uh, But call him out. Call him out yeah. when that's uh, when that's done. Yeah, I guess, the, I guess that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying right now, Rogan's been doing this for 10 years. Right. This, this podcast. He knows better. So he knows better. We all know better. We all knew better. What, 10 years ago, it's 2012? Yeah. 2012, we knew better. Sure. 
I uh, would I be wrong when I'm saying he likes to use the word because he thinks he's a cool guy and he can get away with it. And he's the you know, he's the pot smoking every man that, uh, you know, that takes all sides and he can do that. Do you think there was a little arrogance that maybe oh, resulted I, I, in him uh, coming out with I, that? And I think you I, see a little of that in uh, Quentin yeah. Tarantino as well. There's, you know, mm-hmm. a little yep. too cool Absolute, for the room. Yeah. Right. Uh, Absolutely. Let, but right. Uh, but guys, you can't compare Quentin Tarantino to what we're talking about now. No, what Why I'm not? saying, I'm saying it's an attitude. I think sometimes mm-hmm. people. Hold on. When you see Quentin Tarantino in uh, Pulp Fiction, why can't you? Why can't you with that? With the use of that oh, no, word? I, I can't. You know, I guess I, I'm Quentin saying- Tarantino movies hold the all-time mega record for the N-word. Okay, but li- I guess what what I'm saying is. Someone making a film where you have actors that are laying out what they're with the dialogue that they're laying out right in the manner that is you know frankly that is a collective cast that include minorities yes okay it's, it's different, a different it's different, it's different a than different a white stand. man using the n word okay no no need to go further yes. I completely okay. understand that it just I was not comfortable with Tarantino's scene and I'm I go all the way back to Pulp Fiction yeah that. Django uh, when you're watching that yeah. and it's a you know, it's a it's a fantasy piece as far as the way it's portrayed. It is a dramatic interpretation, but it's you know it, it's something where back in the day, I'm sure that word was used Look, like uh, that. And let me be clear, I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not standing on soapbox here. I'm telling you the way I feel today, and 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 I'm also not proud that you know we've we Mike, you and I, and everybody in this room have worked with people that make offensive jokes and. We couch them as just like, oh, you know, this is just that. This, they're just joking. They're just messing around. And then, you know, looking back at it, you're like, what the heck was I thinking? Exactly. What's going well, on? I go back and look at a whole career of mine, and I say to myself, uh, by the way, I never say, I never said, because my career has been long enough where I have no idea if, if it was ever, uh, you know, mentioned. Uh, but I don't, I sure don't think so. And I also don't, you know, and when Rob has to point out to me as I was laughing with friends over the weekend that I don't remember that I interviewed Betty White. Right. You know, I, I'm not going to go. I'm yeah. not going to rely on my memory and go. Uh, I never. But I don't believe that word has ever been something Mike, that uh, I'm not, not only I, I say, but I also want to hear in, uh, you know, with any. L- let me be clear. White devils. I'm almost positive. I've never said it in my life. I'm almost 100 percent right. positive. Mm-hmm. It, we, 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 you know, I don't think we get away with it even when we're on air on WJFK when it was five hours a week. I know for 100%, I, I always felt like that's just a word you don't use. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, you bristle, it's kind of weird the way, it, yeah. you know, getting back to the whole Rogan thing, it's yeah. kind of weird the way he did use it. It's my, if you see the montage, it's disturbing. I am yeah. shocked really that they didn't do their due diligence. Yeah, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. It's Especially when they're throwing around that kind yeah. of cash. So, uh, who knows? Uh, let's see. We got to edit our news here because we are running. Sorry. Super, I thought that was super, an important conversation. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I'm glad uh, we uh, had it. Uh, all right. I, I don't know if this is some sort of upper level lottery tactic that I'm not aware of. Oh. But, or just dumb luck. There is a guy in Charlottesville. This jumped off the page at me. Charlottesville, Virginia. His name is Jalen Taylor. He decided to buy over 250 lottery tickets. And every single one was a winner. What? Back in November, he bought 104 pick three tickets uh, for a single drawing and used the same three numbers on every ticket, 960. Uh, Then those numbers hit the $500 jackpot. So he won it 104 times for a total of $52,000. Now it makes sense. Yeah, you could get it that way if you get the numbers. Yeah, you got to get it, though. But this part's even crazier. Last month, he decided to go for it again. He bought 160 tickets. With the numbers five four two, and he won a second time. <laughs> yeah, it's three numbers. It can happen. Yeah, he walked. Uh, he walked uh, away with eighty grand that time for a total. Uh, what? He walked with eighty grand that time for a total of one hundred thirty-two thousand. Yeah, yeah no, he but, said he just had a feeling about those two sets of numbers. But so he, he doesn't on. buy. He do they report? Does he do it sometimes and not win, or has he just done it the two times? I don't know. Does it open up into a larger suite? I don't know. Okay. Uh, A uh, Home Depot employee in Tempe, Arizona, has admitted to swapping out nearly $400,000 in real money with fake bills that he bought on Amazon. (laughs) (laughs) His name is Adrian Pineda, Uh and he was a vault associate at the store, meaning that he was in charge of counting the money and taking it to the bank. But over the past four years, he's been swapping it 
uh, with counterfeit money. Adrian bought the fake money on Amazon. A pack of 100 fake $100 bills costs about $9. I, who wants to go to Amazon now and see what they really look like? Well, he we, we did than, it for um, one of our Vegas shows. Mm-hmm. We bought some fake $100 bills that look pretty good. He bought more than 3,700 fake 100s in 22 orders over the past few years, totaling $371,000 in fake money. Obviously, the bank wasn't fooled. The serial number on the bills actually said, play money. No. The, it's either. unclear. Yes. <laughs> the banker said, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, this is play money. Go check on that Home Depot employee. <laughs> yes, Chief. Why, Chief, the serial numbers say... Well, we're going all the way back to the Beverly Hillbillies. The serial numbers say, play money, Chief. Uh, unclear how long they were on to him, but uh, Home Depot has a video of him making the swap 16 times. Adrian was arrested last week. He admitted to stealing the money, and he has agreed to pay it all back. He's also uh, looking it up to 20 years in prison. Mm. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. That's all. That's all. <laughs> Someone looked at uh, different polls on gross-sounding words and came up with a master list of the grossest words in the English language. I will give you uh, 10 to 1 okay. and then some bonus words. Thank number you. 10, curd. Yeah. <laughs> As in cheese curd. Yeah. Uh, number 9, putrid. Number 8, ooze. Number 7, mucus. Nice. Number 6, fester. Oh. Number 5, I don't know if I can say that one. Try it. Well, it's it's written with an L. It's splooge. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Yeah, right. you know, I, that's I call onoma- it splooge. That's onomatopoeia. That's when number something f- sounds like what it is. No. Thank you. Uh, number four, <laughs> calm down. Number four is moist. Yeah. Number three, gross. Sippage. Uh, number two, phlegm. And the number one. Do I have my uh, timpani? Yeah. The number one grossest word is. Pus. Ooh. Yay! Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the bonus words are discharge, loogie, secrete, diarrhea, snot, and congeal. Thank you. Thank you all very I'm much. I'm snot. I'm, I'm congeal. congeal. There you go. <laughs> snot and congeal uh, show. And now a little something, something. Sometimes things are just meant to be. Like this idiot who was destined to go to jail last week. A guy named Adam Castle. Come in, Adam Castle. Uh, he got stopped by police last Monday in Richmond, Kentucky. And uh, he knew he was in trouble. He recently failed to show up uh, to court for drug trafficking. So uh, he knew there were warrants out for him. He claimed his name when they pulled him over was Stephen Clemens. (laughs) So they ran that name through their system. And uh, at first he thought he had tricked them. But then they ended up arresting him anyway because it turned out that the fake name that he used, Stephen Clemens, also had a warrant for his arrest. (laughs) Darn the luck. Not as lucky as the lottery ticket guy. Uh, Adam fessed up while they were driving to jail. He told them uh, what his real name was and listed the charges they should actually be arresting him for. Now he's facing his original charges, plus a few new ones for identity theft <laughs> and giving cops a fake name. Uh, when they asked him uh, what he did for a living, he said, uh, and, uh, I'm, the, I'm the president of the United States. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, own, uh, I, I own Amazon. Right, yeah. That's it. yeah that's Steve it. Clemens. <laughs> yes, uh, Steve Flanagan. Uh, <laughs> We'll take a break and we will come back. Mr. With, uh, Miller is yes. standing by. Yes, he's oh, on deck. Oh, that's right. We got Mark Miller. Mark yep. Miller, a radio guy down here and a buddy of mine uh, coming on to talk Super Bowl football, everybody. Romeo and Juliet. Antony and Cleopatra. Bogey and Bacall. Add to that list another one of the world's greatest love stories. Mike and Carlo Mara. Their love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Their love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. And nowhere is that love story more on display than the Mike O'Mara bonus show. Yes, fall in love with love again and again with our Mike O'Mara bonus show subscription. Lovingly tap the banner at MikeO'MaraShow.com and order the TMOS bonus show today. You'll love it, just like Carla loves Mike. Thank you. There it is. Thank you, sweetie. Appreciate that. Uh, welcome back to the Michael Mary Show. A healthy lifestyle depends on quality sleep, and not all sleep is equal. You need restful sleep to get all the benefits of quality sleep. Your sleep efficiency is the amount of restful sleep you have at night and is a key part of your overall sleep health. 
Sleepers who routinely use their Sleep Number 360 smart bed features get almost 100 more hours of proven quality sleep per year. That's more than four days. So, to improve your sleep health, don't skip meals, soak up some natural daylight, watch your sugar and alcohol intake, that's right, Mike, and avoid heavy <laughs> meals three hours before bedtime. That's right, Mike. And exercise regularly. But the best advice, be like me. Get a sleep number bed. I wouldn't sleep on anything else because a great day starts the night before. My sleep number setting is a 70. Carla is still a 65. Discover special offers now for a limited time at your local sleep number store or sleepnumber.com slash TMOS. Sleep number. Proven quality sleep is life changing sleep. Uh, a while back, we had uh, a friend of mine and a radio guy who's got a wonderful show. As a matter of fact, he's going to give us the details on his latest uh, radio venture, and then we're going to talk Super Bowl, and we're going to talk golf. This is a golfing buddy of mine, Mr. Mark Miller. Uh, Mark Miller is a uh, host of Miller and Moulton, and uh, in my humble opinion, it is one of the best shows we have down here. It is absolutely wonderful, and it's uh, it's true quality. Mark, are you there? Can you hear me? This is user error. No, no, no. We're on. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Hey, hi, user error. You, you, you put me in this thing so late, I got about four seconds to get ready. Well, I didn't know. Where are you? I see a blank screen with like uh oh. look at that backdrop there. that looks super better. bowl love that yes. it's got miami Thank it's you. got the boston so the guy that uh does that that's i know that's not you mark because you're not you're you're like midwest michigan guy you're not right. uh, new yeah, england one of, the, or, yeah. one of the people in the building one of the people that have the afternoon shows is from boston but this is the studio i used to work in before i was fired and <laughs> yeah, now okay. You, let's get an update on what you're oh, doing now, because hostility. now you are... <laughs> twice uh, he's brought it up. <laughs> so you had the Miller and Moulton. Well, the, the, it's an interesting story, and I'll let him tell it, because you were... Uh, you give me the details and tell me everything as far as where you are now and what happened in, uh, with your, your radio show down here. So we, tell did, me ten, what's going we on. did 10 years on this station. Uh, I was let go, or my contract wasn't renewed, you know, in the biz. That's a nice way to say you got fired. <laughs> right. And then... Right. Um, and our show was pretty popular. So they did a newspaper article where the title on the Sunday paper was Dead Air. Mm. And it was a story about them firing me, in which my co-host went George Costanza wearing the Babe Ruth jersey and literally just lit this place on fire. <laughs> he got fired instantaneously after the article was put out. Mm -hmm. We got picked up by another station, did four years there. Uh, through contract negotiations, they didn't want to pay us. So we were subsequently let go again, and I was lucky enough to join in with the network, the Florida Sports Network. We're currently out in four markets, but we're headquartered here in the Fort Myers, Naples, Florida area, and we are back in the studio from the company that fired us, not working for them, but using the studio where, you know, 10 or 12 people that have the last name that's on the building work here, and while we get along... While we get along with the people who work in the building, there are some people with that last name that had a little animosity towards both myself and my radio co -host. I love him. So I love him. It is biting. I mean, the irony that we are in this building is just biting. And this, this Sheeman and Shepherd show who's on in the afternoon, apparently they took over after we were done. They hate us. I don't know who they are. I've never met them. I don't have a clue who they are. But they despise us. <laughs> Isn't and this the greatest business in the world? Ever. <laughs> This is this is. Look, right, I told you. I told people. You come down here. You listen to Miller and Moulton down here in the Fort Myers area, or where where are your other markets in? Uh, We're on Tampa, in Florida. Saint Pete, Tampa, Saint okay. Pete, the Port Charlotte area, which is just north of where we are, Mike, and then Lake okay. City, which is up near the Florida Georgia border. Do, do this you is good stuff? Best best radio, as far as I'm concerned, best radio down here. Look, that's the that's the best show you can. Listen Miller, to this down. is coming from someone that um, was part of a duo that we we're known as Station Killers. If we arrived at your station within 24 months, your station would flip formats or die. <laughs> So uh, that happened in four different markets. The fact that you had only four, only four, only four, uh, only four markets, Oscar. That's okay. So the fact that you had a ten-year run, then a four-year run, that's that's impressive in these days. It is. It is. It is good. And you guys are great. And you yeah. guys have great chemistry. And you've been together because uh, you have a great relationship with your partner, uh, Molten, uh, down here, and uh, it's just fun. But. It's it's the thing that was great about meeting Mark was commiserating and imme we immediately commiserated with each other about this wonderful business of radio, uh, which I'm not on anymore, except for our fun friend uh, Steve Bridges up in Iowa. 
it's just nuts. It's such not, and there's so many little generals that that uh, uh, involve themselves <laughs> in these. Little dis- generals. Well, they do. It's true. It's so they accurate. Do. That's why I laugh. That's true. It's it, it's crazy, but it's also, and I get a sense from you, it's funny. You, you got to look at the humor of it too, which I know you do, Mark. All the time. How can you not? But I will say, walking in the, you know, the the. The irony is of all ironies to me is that I had to do a bunch of testing because you know, as you guys know, we're now on Westwood One pumping this out. So there was a lot of behind the scenes work mm-hmm. before you get started. So I'm in here being one of the only local guys that has any sense technologically because Molten doesn't. He's great at what he does, but the technological side is not him. So as we were testing this, I'm in the building, and when people who didn't know that our show was coming on in this building had no clue what was happening. I'm testing over in the other room and one person whose name's on the building walks in and turned white as a ghost when he saw me. I, it, it started, it made it so great because I was nervous. I'm walking in this building going, man, this could be ugly. Someone could say something. I got to keep my cool. This is a new job. You can't lose it on somebody on your first day. And I, for him, because he didn't see me and he turned and we're, you know, four feet from one another. And he just looks at me and goes, hey. I just started laughing. <laughs> and he turned around and walked awesome. out of the room. And I'm like, man, I thought oh, this God. was going to be bad. It gets better every day. <laughs> it does. So, uh, look, look, we're, we're uh, you know, we're having you on under the guise of uh, the uh, big game. Uh, the big coming game. Up here. But uh, <laughs> I want to talk about a million things. I want to get a break out of the way so we can. Uh, can, can you hang on through a break? And then we're going to come it's back because I want to talk That's in all. this order. We'll wrap it up with the Super Bowl, which I could, you know, I'd rather talk other stuff with him. I want to talk about uh, golf. I want to talk about uh, you and I bumping into each other, and I want to talk about other stuff. Mark Miller from Miller and Moulton is with us. We'll take a short break. When we come back, uh, it's on to. Uh, uh, I went from Cocoonville to Happy Valley, so I no longer get to see my friend on a regular basis. And uh, we'll talk about that and other things uh, right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. I still want to scream the name of the owner out, but I'm not going to because I, I'd like Mark to keep his job. We'll be right back, everybody. Go ahead. Oscar, it is your father. I listen to The Mike Show. The Mike Show! <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> the Mike Show! There was a segment on The Mike Show where you talked about me dying and the list you gave me. I am disappointed in you. Am I your payaso? Which so means, am I your clown? Oh, am I your clown, right, in Spanish? No. And, am I your clown? Yeah. Oh my God. And it sounds worse wow. in Spanish. Yeah, payaso. Like I'm a clown, I amuse you. Your brother's being pushy. Tell him to back off. Say hello to my little friend! Don't be un payaso. The TMOS bonus show is an extra uncensored hour of La Diversion. Every week, order a subscription today by clicking the banner at MikeOmeraShow.com and you'll have a plethora of the Mike Bonus Show. Payasal. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Cryptocurrency might feel like a super secret or exclusive club, but Coinbase believes that everyone everywhere should be able to get in the door. Whether you've been uh, trading for years or you're just getting started, Coinbase can help. Coinbase makes learning to buy and sell simple because Coinbase offers a trusted and easy-to-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. Plus, they support the most popular digital currencies on the market today, and they make them accessible to everyone. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app, so you can trade securely securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. Millions of people in over 100 countries trust Coinbase with their digital assets. So if you're looking to diversify or just getting started, visit the website and check it out. It is a great time to get in on it. For a limited time, new users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when they sign up today at Coinbase.com slash TMOS. That's Coinbase.com slash TMOS for 10 bucks in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only. So so be sure to sign up today. That's Coinbase.com slash TMOS. And thank you, Coinbase, for sponsoring our show. We're very happy to have you. We're here with uh, Mark Miller from uh, Miller and uh, Moulton. Uh, you know, I want to be uh, do you the proper thing here, so please give us the stations that you're on and uh, where you can be heard on the radio down here in Southwest Florida. We are on the Florida Sports Network, which is currently in Naples, Fort Myers, Port Charlotte, Tampa, St. Pete, and Lake City, Florida. Check them out at uh, Miller and molten well i have to say uh you know we've gotten together a couple of times but i miss your uh you know your wonderful personality out there on the uh the golf course where he's uh you know where we we used to play a lot in the same gang of people and uh you know so i i bump into mark because uh mark's daughter maddie is having softball practice on the field across where my son is having baseball practice 
And I said, hey, how are you? It's good to see you. He makes some elderly comment. What was the comment when you saw me? I, said, I said, look at that grandpa bringing his grandson to the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And I, hadn't, I didn't see you. And then uh, we make the arrangement. I said, hey, want to golf? Let's golf on Sunday. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead. I said, yeah, man. I said, I'll, I, yeah, our early tea time. She said, well, so yeah, I can make that happen. Yeah, I'd love to. So I go down. And I oh. said, you know what? We'll bring the, the biggest character we play golf with, a guy named Jim Weir. We'll bring Jim down. So I text Jim, and, uh, and meanwhile, I'm making a tea time. And uh, and Jim gets back to me and says, I'm playing in a golf tournament this weekend. And I walk over and said, Mark, uh, Jim uh, can't play. He's in a golf tournament. He said, oh, oh, I'm in that golf tournament too. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That was, a, that was a fun little exercise of 20 minutes of my life I couldn't get back. But anywho, it's good to see you because what came out of that, I said, come on the show. And you uh, generously agreed to come on. And it's really good to see you, my friend. And, really and, I, and I apologize for that because I would like to see your new club one of these days. You've only been a member there for a couple of years. So be nice to, to check it out. <laughs> I, you'll, you're on the list. I would love to have you. On the list. Come down, you know. I mean, you're at the top of the list always. But top the, of the but list. the list yes. is always changing, isn't it? An organic list, a floating yeah, list. I have <laughs> I've had one guy that we played with uh, chunk, chunk, chunk. down to to play at Happy Valley. You know, I've uh, I've really I've done that. So uh, you know, it's it's great. So anything, uh, it's great you know, for, for me, not you, Miller. Yeah, it does. It really <laughs> kind of works out for me. <laughs> I the way it's done over there is there, but it's a larger operation with more members, so it's a lot of moving. We get parts it. It's better. Going yeah, we get it. I'm we get still, it. Let's we get look it. at the list. Down four yes. notches to number eight. Yes. It's Mark Miller. You oh, keep shit. saying how great it is. It's not helping the cause. What do you like say how great you it is? You said it's a I big said. operation. It's better. It's bigger. It's, it's bigger. Faster. It's nicer. It's it's in the perfumed air. <laughs> <laughs> What you gentlemen have to understand is we are in this little spot of Florida, <laughs> Southwest Florida. You have Lee County and you have Collier County. Yes, both great. Mike and I both live in Lee County. Michael is now a member. See, he's Mike in Lee County. He's Michael in Collier County. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> so he's Once you grin. cross the county line, mm -hmm. I mean, just that perfumed air is worth about $200,000 more a house. The flying uh... wasp. <laughs> It's the flying wasp. I christen the the flying wasp. There we go. Oh god. I, uh, but I'm going to be uh, playing in the uh, the big tournament that we have every year back at Cocoonville, and I'm going to see all the guys, and I'm I'm really looking forward to that. I would have loved to be your guest, but uh, oh. I was your first alternate, right? Was that that's a pretty nice uh, position? You were my first, first alternate. alternate, and then when I went to pick you, because my my. The guy I was playing with, my partner, had a dislocated his knee and has to have surgery and can't play. So I sent you a text. Are you playing in the Invitational? And you said yes. I never even bothered to send another text after that. What was uh, the point? Not, not that I don't have uh, a lot of friends at Cocoonville, but the only way I was able to get into the tournament, where I would have liked to see three or four guys say, hey, would you like to be my, my guest? I had to bribe an old guy that uh that's a friend of mine that i play that i enjoy playing with i had to bribe him saying i would pay half the entry fee to get in uh with him and that's what i'm doing and so and as you said you knew that i'd get in right away once i made that offer it's a wonderful it, offer it's a great offer because the protocol in these tournaments right there you for, go for everyone to know it's it's a it's a it's, a, it's called a member guest invitation mm -hmm. you invite a guest when you invite a guest you pay for said guest. Right. I've never, I've played this tournament every year. I've never let my guest go to his hip. There's a lot of gambling that goes on as well. Usually a good guest will say, right. hey, you picked up the tournament. What do I need to pay for yes. the gambling? And that, yes. that's right. usually how this works. But in mm -hmm. order to get in the tournament, Mr. <laughs> O'Meara bribed a member and said, I'll pay for my half exactly. just so I can right. play in the tournament. An older and member. An older member, and this member, Aren't they all? Has, <laughs> uh, you know what? And this member, and Mark will back me up on this, will not gamble one nickel of really? his own money. It really? will not happen. But I love him. I love mm. him. We'll have a good time, and we will not win, but it'll be uh, fun to see. Because uh, it really is uh, golf surrounded by what would be essentially a drinkathon. Oh, cool. Uh, well, that sounds like fun. It does sound fun. Like fun. It does sound fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. It, it's very fun. It, it, so, it's my favorite weekend there. I'm glad that Mike's playing. It's a lot of fun. 
It's going to be a blast. Now, getting on to uh, what your day job is, you are uh, following uh, uh, the game and uh, and everything and the Super Bowl. And uh, let's see, it's the Green Bay Packers yes. against the uh, Oilers. No, it's the San Francisco 49ers against the the darlings of football Excuse right me? now, the Cincinnati. What? It's the L.A. Rams. Oh, yeah. It's the L.A. Rams against the darlings of football. You do this for the, a living? Uh, I don't do sports. That's why, that's why I was fired by it. It's the station. Super Bowl, Mike. Uh, I'm excited. I'm going to have a Super Bowl party. I, I'll ask you live on the air. Oh, because dear. I, here we last go. Last night, I had my buddy Oli it's here. He was cooking steaks it's on the really grill, and we bad. decided we'd have people over for the Super Bowl. I am sure your dance card is uh, full. You usually have a social get. He's very social. Yes. I'm not as social as Mark is. Are you having your usual thing or are you free to come over to, over to my house to watch the I, Super Bowl on Sunday? First first off, I never have a Super Bowl party. You don't? Ever. Okay, um, you have to watch it like for work. Right? Well, I try so to that. watch it. What I will do is I, I will definitely come over oh, and okay. I can assure you of this. I will leave before kickoff. That's usually what we do for the Super Bowl. I try to go That's to a fine. lot of parties before the game, see everybody make the appearance, and then I want to be with my fat behind on a couch when kickoff happens. Mm. Done. All right. Smart. We'll see you here. We'll see you Smart. here. Come on over. Uh, so we've got the Bengals, uh, which is the story, right? That's the big story. That's the exciting uh, going up the, against the L.A. Rams, who uh, you know, a lot of people picked them to be in the Super Bowl to start with. But I love the story of this wonderful human being who's the quarterback of the Bengals. Joe Burrow, to me, is something truly special. I'm excited no, about it. And, and, Mike, I know you're enough of a sports fan. I mean, we went through an era of quarterbacks where we had Peyton Manning, Ben Roethlisberger, and Tom Brady. And if you go from, I think it's 01 to 2019, of those 18 Super Bowls, there was only twice that one of those quarterbacks was not quarterbacking the Super Bowl for the AFC. Uh, there was one year with Baltimore and um, the one year with the, the Raiders at the beginning of it. Other than that, you had one of those three quarterbacks. We, we may very well be entering in an era here with Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and Joe Burrow of Cincinnati where if you want to call that the golden, the golden age of the quarterback, well, we might have part two coming, which for me as someone who does this for a living is incredibly exciting. You even got the kid in, in uh, with the LA Chargers, Justin Herbert there, who's pretty damn good himself. So there's great quarterbacking. But to your point, Mike, Cincinnati this year started out at 200 to one to win the Super Bowl. I mean, this is talking about, this would be, you, you guys are DC guys. This would be like saying that the Washington Wizards are going to win the NBA champ. <laughs> this is the type of odds that they were at. And your laughter is so my point. True. But, that, but, I, but my guess, if we go look at the odds, that the Wizards were probably at about 200 to 1 to win the NBA championship at the beginning of the year. This team was supposed to finish in fourth in their division. All three of the other teams, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Baltimore, all made the playoffs a year mm -hmm. ago. Uh, the fact that they pulled this off with zero offensive lines, a whole nother thing, you know, little nitty gritty football stuff, but it's a great story. Their coach had never coached in the NFL, was a coordinator. After one year before the you know, Burrow gets hurt, they don't know if Zach Taylor's going to survive. And now they're one game away from the whole thing. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And at the same time, it's disappointing because a city that serves arguably the worst food combination in America <laughs> Cincinnati chili could get a Super Bowl. And I just don't, I can't, I can't have that happen in my lifetime. It's got cinnamon, right? No beans, right? No beans. Beans and meat and spaghetti. It's just god awful. <laughs> well, what's that? Beans, I like beans and chili. No, but I, I think like they do, spaghetti. I think they do cinnamon, Mike. I think that's it's one called of the chili mac, right? Is is but that a Cincinnati thing? It's five it's Cincinnati Five Way, which is spaghetti noodles, beans. <laughs> Chili meat, cheese, and onions. And even at 2.30 in the morning, it's not that good. He's right. I like I it. remember I I, it. at Hard Times Cafe when they'd be like, would you like Cincinnati chili? And I tried it once and said, never again. Never what again. What was so bad about it? What, the flavor profile? It's too much. And chili should not be served together. Too oh, much. I like a chili mac. I used to go to Steak and Shake and get a chili mac. Yeah. I like that. Look, yeah, it was actually kind of watery. It was kind of watery, you know, but uh, that's fine. Uh, hey, can you talk about, are you allowed to talk about your uh, radio partner's uh, secondary job that's yeah, kind of cool, too? Absolutely, this yeah. Is, uh, this is cool. Tell, tell them what the, your Moulton does. What's Moulton's this, first I'm, name again? Mark David Moulton. Moulton. And, and David, David Moulton. Moulton, Mark Miller. And, and I am very. I always say this. David's the brains of the show. I'm the smartass. Um, okay. He, he's brilliant. But he has, a, I guess, a side gig, if you will. He is Gary Danielson. If you ever watched the SEC on CBS, mm -hmm. um, Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson are the two announcers. He is Gary's spotter. So he is literally to Gary's right. And he is on blue index cards giving Gary notes throughout the game. They'll discuss what it is. 
national telecast. Yeah. And so he does that on Saturdays and on Sundays and on, well, it was Thursdays, but now Fox doesn't have the Thursday gig anymore. He does the same exact thing with Troy Aikman. That's cool. What's impressive about this to me, Aikman is so impressive and both of them are very good at what they do, but you guys all know in the radio business, we have people talking in our headsets Mm -hmm. while we're talking, which is a hard thing to get used to. Troy Aikman, when he's doing the game is hearing from a director and a producer that are in his headsets. He deals with Molten specifically on headsets only. Obviously, he's got to listen to this Joe Buck guy, you know, his partner doing mm-hmm. the game. <laughs> and Troy then does all of his own replay. So when you're watching one of those games, he has a computer and he's spinning back plays while the play's going on to set up the replay. I mean, I'm in, like I'm impressed with any of these guys that do it, but all that Aikman has going on in the booth is really, wow. really impressive. Wow. Do you think uh, Aikman's going to stay? Is he going to? Uh, is he going to? I don't be have a up? clue. What do you think? You don't I don't have a clue. David doesn't have a clue. Uh, the only thing I hope for for David is that, you know, that Troy takes David with him if he goes to Amazon, if he stays with Fox and stays with him. So it's, but, a, um, it's a great place to be, though, when you know this. We all know this from contracts. I don't know what it feels like, but I'm sure you and Mike do. <laughs> when you have a second suitor and it happens to be the, the most powerful company in the world, that's something. It, is. it really is. It's very cool. it's, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, it, it's really nice of you to come on and talk to us. And uh, perhaps uh, after the Invitational, uh, you know, if our paths cross, uh, we're not going to be in the hunt. So it doesn't matter. We'll just see each other out there. But we'll have you on again. It'll be fun. And, and I, okay. I'm already looking forward to the Super Bowl. I got invited to a Super Bowl party. I'm really excited. You are this coming. Been worth uh, it and for that alone. Before- and kickoff is what, 635, something like that? Something yes, like that. The, mm-hmm. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much for making the time hey, to come guys. in here. Mark Miller, there Miller and Moulton, congratulations on your new thank gig. You, Michael. I wish you many years of success. We will take a break. Mark, thank you. Thanks for staying longer, and we'll be back with more fun and thrills. we got Sound Town with Rob Spiewak coming up thank you. on the Mike O'Mara Show. Mark Miller, everybody, my personal friend. What's up? It is Jake the Snake. Guess what? I'm not blue anymore. Yes, the Gatorade stain <laughs> has faded. Just like little Michael's love for me. That's okay. I still have the father. He loves me. I love to curl up under his neck and nap. It's warm and safe and smells like a concrete from Culver's. He treats me so well. He buys all my snake gear at the TMOS shopping center at MikeOmeraShow.com, Target, and Walmart. It has aquariums, hidey holes, snake toys, and makeup. Well, just because I'm a snake doesn't mean I don't want to look pretty. <laughs> now start shopping and kiss me, dear boy. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Catalina Crunch. The first thing you need to know is that Catalina Crunch's cereal is delicious. That's first. The dark chocolate, the cinnamon toast, both great. Amazing, really, because it's zero sugar, keto-friendly, and low-carb. Most zero-sugar food doesn't taste delicious, but Catalina Crunch really nailed it. Plus, it packs a whopping 11 grams of plant-based protein and 9 grams of fiber per serving. Taste for yourself why over 10,000 customers rate Catalina Crunch 5 stars. They've got eight delicious flavors to choose from, and you're going to love them all. Gluten-free, grain-free, non-GMO, only real clean ingredients, nothing artificial. See why Catalina Crunch Cereal is the fastest growing cereal brand in America. Just go to CatalinaCrunch.com slash TMOS for 15% off your first order, plus free shipping. That's CatalinaCrunch.com slash TMOS. Not sure which flavor to start with? Try a variety yes. pack and check out their delicious cookies and snack mixes while you're at it. Again, that's CatalinaCrunch.com slash TMOS for 15% off your first order, plus free shipping. My go-to shipping. is cinnamon. It's good stuff. It is it's good. delicious. It stays oh, crunchy get the uh, sound town thing. I've managed the clock pretty well. Today. Did you hear that? Listen to the sound. Do you hear? The There's a new sound. The sound. Cut that in sound out. town. Do kids still Cut say big ups if they want to? No. Play? Okay. Well, big ups to Mike O'Mara because what? he called my attention to this. Bill Murray on the 12th hole this weekend. Oh, tremendous. God. So fun. So, I, indescribably great for a golfer out there. If you're not a golfer, what he did, it was just so funny. I'm going to so play the tape. You'll so probably special. have to recap it because it's a, it's a little right, visual. I'll, I'll do it before you play the tape. All right. Bill Murray walks up to a putt. It's like a five-foot putt. Yeah. And he walks Certainly up. Certainly not a gimme. 
on and he's television. Ambling, on live television. And he's ambling up to the putt and he's kind of looking into the sky and he doesn't look at the time. He stands with his back to the putt and then he flips the putter and the damn thing goes in the hole. And it's not the, the reaction. You know, oh, uh, for the people at Pebbles is like, you know. It was it, muted yes, compared to muted. what just happened. Yeah, you're it right. It was muted compared to what it's like people being golfy. Uh, but it's incredible what he go, does. It's go. Bill Murray. Yeah. Something's going to happen. It always makes oh, a highlight for you us. Watch well. You watch this. Go on. Go on. Of course it's going out. Of course it is. Boom. All right. The announcers are, are what you're seeing the TV feed and you're watching. He's going to go in, go in, go in. Yeah. And they get into it. But yeah. Bill Murray is just. Yeah, he starts his day on Saturday bringing out like a scotch and a plate of food walking to the first tee. He's a throwback to He's the old days. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, it got so corporatized with the celebrities years ago. Yeah, oh, it did. Well, it's not fun anymore. It, it's not fun because it it's used like, to be and, fun. And there's the CEO of AT&T uh, who's a two handicap golfer, you know. Bring in movie stars, even if they suck, yeah. for God's sake. Yeah, and, that's uh, what it used to let's be, go to the but. here's uh, the post game. It's in the hole. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Mike, British Columbia, a lady noticed that her car had been broken into because the stuff inside had been messed with. So she cleaned it up, steam cleaned it because she didn't want to be, you know, a little creepy. And then she comes out the next day and the windows are fogged up again. And she's like, that's weird. And she opens her trunk and finds a naked guy. Why are you in my trunk and are you naked? Yeah. What? It's a rite of passage. To be... Uh, how did you get in there? I'm the son of the Pope. Can I put my pants on? Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Mike, it's son, the son of the Pope, son did he say? Pope. It's a rite of passage. God, he's out of his sword. Wow. Three days. Three days he's in the trunk. Yes. And then wow. when he gets out naked, he says, can I put my coat on? She says, yes, please. <laughs> it's a rite of passage. The problem and... is, is that there was a tire iron. And when he turned over. It's in the hole. Uh, also. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You got to hand really it to Bill Maher. When a joke's a joke, it's pretty good. He's talking about the Olympics and we're all worried about. COVID prevention. The Olympics have started. <laughs> China does not want COVID to be a problem. They have brought back, I am not kidding about this, the uh, anal swab testing. <laughs> Talk about a super spreader event. Uh, I want to tell you. Butt cheeks. Mike, that's all I got. I <laughs> Sorry. No, Sorry. No, Sorry. We we that's down. fine. Please come again. That's it. We got to get out of here. I want to thank Mark Miller from Miller & Moulton Yay, for joining Mark. us on the show. I didn't add a a ton of stuff. I didn't even get a chance to talk about Critter Man. Critter Man! <laughs> we went to the Critter Man show. <laughs> we can't Critter Man. Critter Man! Critter Man don't play that way. <laughs> anyway, uh, Critter Man. Critter Man! I said to somebody as the show's going on, I don't like Critter Man. Uh, <laughs> anyway, well, <laughs> Critter Man tomorrow on the Michael Mara Show. We'll be back with a brand new episode for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. This is Michael Mara saying so long, everybody. Critter Man! Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. Sayonara, sucker! Wow.